how is it that our leaders can live up here and we live down here? Well, we're here today offering our condolences to the Martin family. Uh, they're going through a lot. We all have children. There are children here. Uh, justice was not served, and that's the main reason why we're here. Saturday, nearly 200 people gathered at the McMillan Federal Building in Florence to press for federal civil rights charges against George Zimmerman, the former neighborhood watch leader who is now a free man. We have to rally together. We have to be strong. We have to be united. Florence City Councilman Edward Robinson explained to a fired up crowd that Martin did not die in vain. In my thinking, he died for a reason. And then, and that reason is to show that injustice, racism is still prevalent here in this United States of America. Demonstrators here in Florence were not alone. Thousands of other protesters rallied for justice in more than 100 cities across the nation. It's creating a movement, hopefully, and that's what we hope to do today, create a movement. Protesters also sparking the debate on self-defense laws and race relations all in the name of Trayvon Martin. His family has to go on. They'll never be able to get no peace if we don't stand for some justice. Like so many others here, demonstrator Tony Hines says he hopes his country doesn't lose sight when it comes to issues of race and equality. In Florence, Mark Liverman, WPDE News Channel 15.